you to pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this opportunity to stop and acknowledge the accomplishments of these graduates. These sailors have proven that they can be responsible by being committed to themselves and by being committed to others. They have shown great perseverance and ambition. May they find happiness in their power to achieve excellence in all that they do. We know, we know that none of this would have been possible without their knowledgeable and dedicated instructors, their diligent and committed SLPOs and A-School staff, or without the guidance and support of their family and friends. Bless these graduates as they move on from one challenge to another. Be with us now. This is our prayer. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, Commander Bryant, chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates. Welcome to the Machinist Bank class graduation, excuse me, the graduation from Machinist Bank class 23-22 Alpha, and electricity mate class 23-09 Mike. Today is a special day for these sailors of the marks the completion of long weeks of hard work, and I am pleased that we are here to recognize the efforts and achievements of these young men and women. Today's guest speaker is from Ocala, Florida, and joined the Navy in October 2014. After completing recruit training in Great Lakes, Illinois, he attended Newport Field A School, Power School, and then Prototype here in Charleston, South Carolina. Upon completing training, he was stationed on Gold Crew for the USS Georgia, a nuclear-powered uh, guided missile submarine stationed in Kings Bay, Georgia, or deployed to Diego Garcia. During his time on board, he supported Command Task Force 69, multiple operational reactor safety required examinations, a 22-month shipyard availability, sea trials, and the recertification of the ship's tactical capability. At three years on board, he was made leading petty officer of Reactor Controls Division, coordinating maintenance and upkeep for reactor instrumentation and control equipment vital to successful mission execution. In April of 2021, he reported to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command where he was assigned as an instructor in electronic fundamentals where he taught four classes, rewrote the curriculum, and served as a command managed equal opportunity program manager before shifting to be a section leading petty officer, an assignment given to staff members who exhibit the highest standards of personal conduct and who promulgate excellence. It is my pleasure to introduce Electronics Technician, First Class, Submarines Qualified, Christian Walls. Good morning, Commander Bryant and Chaps, staff, friends, family, and especially the graduates. As graduates of your respective A schools, you've taken the first steps towards joining the prestigious Naval Nuclear Power Propulsion Community. Our outstanding track record of safety, reliability, and operational readiness is a testament to the confidence and trustworthiness of our operators, who are now on watch around the world, every day, all year round. While the journey may be challenging at times, this is intentional. We aim to develop individuals capable of overcoming extreme obstacles with determination and grit. By completing this school, you have cemented your reputation as someone we can rely on to keep our world-class fleet moving into the future and have taken the first step to join this prestigious brotherhood and sisterhood of naval nuclear operators. To the families of these graduates, your support and sacrifice has not gone unnoticed. These sailors have made it through arduous times, long days, complex instruction, and challenging exams to be in these very seats today. Be proud of the men and women you have in front of you and what they have accomplished, and know that today is just the first of many stepping stones to so many more momentous occasions. Graduates, as you advance in your careers, assume positions of greater leadership and authority and hone your technical abilities, remember that no matter the task, you will persevere. It is you and what you believe you are capable of which marks the lines between failure and success. Some of the greatest lessons we learn from our failures. Embrace these lessons and always strive to be a better, stronger, and more resilient person than you were yesterday. I think no words better encapsulate this message than the words of Admiral Hyman G. Rickover. What it takes to do a job well is not learned from management courses. It's principality, a matter of experience, the proper attitude, and common sense. None of which can be taught in a classroom, 
and human experience shows us that people, not organizations or management systems, get things done. To conclude, I challenge you with the following. Shift your perspective and welcome the idea of being a zero. Many individuals tend to view zeros as valueless when in reality they are significant and add value, taking nothing away from the total outcome. You should be a zero. Stand behind your goals, friends, family, and colleagues. Add value to every situation you are a part of, detract nothing from any of the experiences, and embrace being a zero. Keep this in mind as you continue to grow and, your, and learn in your profession and in life. Military members, attention. Graduating students, I will now proc you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all those who shall see these presents, greetings. Greetings! Know ye that the power vested in me and reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy. As such, from the 19th day of May, 2023. Your appointment as petty officer in the United States Navy makes you heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation, which you will serve as an example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity, attention to detail, and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, understanding and strength to your subordinates, you will continue, correction, you will co contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. Family and friends, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officer. sailors has earned their new title. There are those, however, who stand out from the rest as evidenced by having the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for their achievements in the classroom, and we call these sailors our honor graduates. Today's honor graduates are machinist mate, third class, Brody Guthrie. Electrician's mate, third class, Lucas Tambolio. <laughs> the Honor Graduate Award will be presented by Commander Bryant and Chief Donovan Asatola. <clears throat> Military personnel, attention to honors. Naval Nuclear Power Training Command 2, Machinist Mate 3rd Class, Brody Guthrie, and Electrician's Mate 3rd Class, Lucas Tembolio. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average among all graduates from your class at Nuclear Field A School, Charleston. Your standing reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. Section Leading Petty Officer for Class 23-22 Alpha, Chief Machinist Mate, Surface Warfare Qualified, Lance Adair. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Commander. Good morning, Chaps. Fellow staff members, family and friends, most importantly, the graduates. First off, congratulations all of you. Second, a big thank you to the family, the friends, all the mentors, shipmates, and anyone else who has supported these graduates through this important milestone. Our former president, Harry S. Truman, once said, America was built on courage, on imagination, 
and an unbeatable determination to do the job at hand. These graduates before you today have certainly shown this unbeatable determination to complete the job at hand that our former president was talking about by successfully completing Nuclear Field A School. They have also shown some imagination. Uh, a little comedic story about 23-22 uh, Alpha. Every class I've always had, you know, after a hard exam, they seem stressed, so I like to give them my classic dad jokes that they obviously love. And, uh, and this is the first class that they got to reciprocate and give me a dad joke. And, uh, it, and uh, I, it went over my head at first. Uh, hey, Chief, what do you call it when you parkour? I'm like, what is parkour? Uh, I guess it's something that uh, younger people like to do from running from point A to point B as fast as they can. And it's called parkour. And I still don't really know what it is, but I understand it's dangerous. And so I'm like, what do they call it? And uh, along with my name, a daredevil. <laughs> and uh, my jokes go along with that too. And uh, oh, I was very proud of that imagination. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that is my uh, comedic story of the class. And, uh, you know, they, they stuck together really well and, and did really well, and, uh, you know, that military humor gets us uh, through the hard times, uh, all of us up here and, and including the students and everyone in the back. So, so getting through A school is a major milestone on your path to becoming a nuclear operator on a warship in the world's greatest navy. You will all support America's mission in maintaining maritime superiority, bringing peace to all oceans of the world, and providing a presence to those in need. All of you have been through much together during Nuclear Field A School, and you performed admirably. The task in front of you will be difficult. It is these times that you will grow and become a stronger man, a woman, as a spouse, as a parent, and as a sailor. Through this growth, you will be driving the force of the Navy, ensuring the future success of the Navy and our country. I would like to leave you with another one of my favorite quotes since I've been in the Navy by John F. Kennedy. And any man or woman who may be asked in this century what he or she did to make his or her life worthwhile, I think can respond with a good deal of pride and satisfaction. I served in the United States Navy. All of the graduates before you today have plenty of reason to feel this pride that President Kennedy spoke of. So once again, I congratulate you and I look forward to your future successes. And I'm sure I will see some of you uh, on, my, on my next shift. So. So, with, uh, without further ado, now presenting Class 2322 Alpha. Left face. <coughs> Machinist Mate, third class, Kyle Blatchley. <laughs> Machinist Mate, third class, Matthew Broom. Machinist Mate, third class, Dylan Edwards. Machinist Mate, third class, Oscar Garza. Machinist Mate, third class, Donald Gonzalez. Machinist Mate, third class, Orrin Jean. Machinist Mate, third class, Tyler Johns. Machinist Mate, third class, Wynn Pham. Machinist Mate, Fireman Apprentice, Cameron Ross. Machinist Mate, third class, Landon Shoemaker. Machinist Mate, third class, Braden Taylor. Machinist Mate, third class, Dakota West. Machinist Mate, third class, Cody Wright. The following sailors are graduating with distinction with a grade point average of 3.40 to 3.59. Machinist Mate, third class, Gavin Bailey. Machinist Mate, third class, William Benton. Machinist Mate, third class, Corey Helton. 
following sailor is graduating with honors uh, with a GPA of higher than 3.60. Machinist mate, third class, Brody Guthrie. Section leading petty officer for class 2309 Mike, Chief Electrician's Mate, Surface Warfare Qualified, Kaylee Cantillas. Good morning, Commander Bryant, Chaplain, staff, graduates, family, and friends. Graduates, I want to thank you for your service. I feel like I would be doing a disservice to our family and friends if I didn't explain exactly why these sailors deserve their thanks and what they've done over the last six months. They've completed 465 hours of classroom lecture, 257 hours of individual training assistance, 66 hours of physical training, 145 hours of training labs, 40 hours of written examinations, and 10,539 and a half hours of studying after the academic day. They all accomplished this seemingly insurmountable amount of work while maintaining a grade point average of 2.5 or better. And on top of that, they still had to deal with all the challenges that any young adult faces when moving out for their first time, like learning how or how often to do laundry, <laughs> how to save money and still have fun, how to use their time effectively. And if that wasn't enough, they were suddenly thrust into a profession where having the highest degree of integrity and moral character are of the utmost importance. And these sailors did just that. And in that struggle, they've become a team and a family and an assurance that we will forever maintain naval superiority around the globe. Today, there is not a single adversary out of reach of our submarine-launched ballistic missiles and our carrier-borne fighter jets. Our global presence and projection of power makes you part of the most formidable Navy the world has ever seen. It is proof that provided willing, you are willing to put in the effort and the hours required that you too can become a global force for good. By completing Nuclear Field Day School, you've accelerated your life and taken the first steps down that road. And I know I cannot wait to see what comes for you as you are forged for the sea. I know that they couldn't have accomplished this alone, though, so please allow me to extend the utmost thanks to all the family and friends for your invaluable support for these sailors on their journey. I hope you understand now why I want to thank each of them for their service. I am truly proud of what you guys have accomplished, and I look forward to working with you in the fleet. Until then, make sure you have fun, be safe, make good choices. It is with great honor and privilege that I present Class 22, 2309 Mike. Electricians make third class Taj Allen. Electricians make third class Sean Clary. My class leader, electricians make third class Nash Curry. Electricians meet third class Yahushua Dale. Electricians meet third class Gunier Fitzgerald. Electricians meet third class Mateo Gill. Electricians meet third class Jordan Hernandez. Electricians mate third class Chase Hoffman. Electricians mate third class Isaiah Montenegro. Electricians mate third class Hudson Morris. My master at arms electricians mate third class Joshua Pastian. 
Electrician's mate, third class, Jacob Ramirez. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Luis Rodriguez Pena. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Noah Urbany. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Ryan Velez. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Taryn Walraven. <laughs> the following sailors are graduating with distinction, GPA 3.4 to 3.59. Electrician's mate, third class, Jonathan Garcia. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Alejandro Mesa. <laughs> My assistant class leader, electricians. Mate, third class, Ella Rob. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Nathan Ricketts. <laughs> Following sailors are graduating with honors with GPA greater than 3.60. Electrician's mate, third class, Daniel Ruiz. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Lucas Tombolio. <laughs> Electrician's mate, fireman apprentice, Samuel Pearson. Each of these sailors exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to make it here today. Still, there are those that, by the manner in which they have completed this training, have inspired others. What sets these sailors aside from their peers is the consistency in their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the examples they have set. They demonstrate the qualities most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. These sailors are the recipients of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Today's recipients are, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Machinist mate, third class, Dakota West. <laughs> and electrician's mate, third class, Lucas Tembolio. <laughs> Awardees, front and center. The Personal Excellence Award for presented by Commander Bryant and Senior Chief Cameron Winders. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, to Machinist Mate, 3rd Class, Dakota West, and Electrician's Mate, 3rd Class, Lucas Tambolio. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student each class who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This student stands apart by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your dedication to duty, exceptional academic efforts, and perseverance in the face of adversity have made you an outstanding example, and the professionalism exhibited is in keeping with our Navy Corps values and warrants your selection as a recipient of the Personal Excellence Award. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. special here in Nuclear Field A School. Uh, it's not just the start of the weekend, we get an opportunity to celebrate graduates and, uh, success, and the success of the milestone of the graduates. First, I'd like to thank the family and friends that are here. The support of your sailors so far means a lot. And those of us in the room standing as staff understand the importance of what you bring to, to the table for us, and it's not lost on us the importance of you being here. 
thanks to the staff, the SLPOs and the instructors have put in a lot of work to get it to these graduates where they are. Very proud of the foundation that you've been able to set for these sailors' future success. Last but not less, not last but definitely not least, thank you to the graduates. Commitment in the face of adversity, perseverance, overcoming difficult situations, often referred to as grit, can be shown here and is what got you to this point and will get you through your career going forward. Remember what we've discussed about mental toughness and apply those lessons throughout your career. When you find yourself in challenging situations, you're not quite sure what to do, adhering to the values and principles that we've discussed will always lead you down the correct path and help you make the right decisions in the face of adversity and hard times. We're very proud of your accomplishments and we look forward to tracking your progress through the rest of the pipeline and look forward to seeing you in the fleet. Thank you. Rise for our benediction. Let us pray. Gracious God, we ask for your blessings on this graduating class. Thank you for the new insights and knowledge they have gained. Grant each graduate wisdom to apply themselves to the challenges that lie ahead. May they rise to every occasion to lead with honor and professionalism. As we close here today, I ask that you bless all those here in attendance. Bless this command our Navy, and this great nation. In your holy name we pray. Amen. This concludes today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations, and well done. Military personnel, carry on.